Howdy, howdy, howdy. I am a big fan of couch guitar straps, and seeing as reviews of them on the internet or YouTube are kind of scarce, I thought I would make one. Couch is based in Los Angeles, California, and it's a small company with um, about seven employees, I believe, if I read right. Their thing is um, all their products are vegan, meaning they don't use leather or animal products at all. And they tend to use what they call dead stock materials, which are old vintage materials that, um, that they've located. A lot of them are from cars or luggage or furniture. Now, not all of their stock is, is old or vintage, but uh, they indicate what it is. First one I ever bought was this one, the white with the orange. They call this the Racer X stripe. Very popular, they have a lot of different combinations. Um, they, it's vinyl on both sides, and in the middle they have some sort of fiberglass reinforced material, and I think they use carbon fiber on the ends. So everything is stitched really well. <clears throat> I was afraid that vinyl would tear or wear over time. And I've had this one maybe four years, um, but it's gotten light use. So I can't speak to long-term longevity, but what I've read is really good. Feels really solid. Uh, the Racer X's tend to have black plastic um, adjusters here, whereas some of the others have either like stainless or uh, brass colored. So, I like the Racer X. I will say one thing about the whites, though. Um, they say this pretty clearly on their website, but it's, it's pegged more toward a uh, Fender Olympic white. It's more of an off-white. So when I compare it to a guitar that's really, really white or has a really, really white pick guard like this Charvel, um, it's not quite there. And you'll see pictures on their website where people match them anyway, and it looks pretty good. Uh, but I'm really, really picky, so don't really like using this with a really, really white. I have another black guitar with a really white, white pick guard as well. Um, <clears throat> I might get the black with a white stripe like this, though, because when it's on a darker color, uh, it just works better. It looks, it looks brighter, and I think I could totally get away with the black with white, so I might do that. Next one is their dark red with white racer X strap. And again, it's not a bright red. It's not the center of the color wheel red, although they have that. It's a dark red, not a maroon, but kind of in that direction. Now I did match it with a guitar that I have. This Dean is what they call scary cherry you can see a little flame in it and it's not exact but it's really close and i tell you when it's on the guitar and on your shoulder it works so that's what i use with that guitar <clears throat> the next one is a pattern i didn't pick out myself it was a gift but <clears throat> i really like it it's a um this is vintage material that used to be made into seats for 1979, 1980 era Mustangs. So I own a newer Mustang and I just think it's cool. And uh, this works great on a black guitar, I won't show you. The next two are their luggage line, they call them. And this is a, they call it ivory. It's got some browns in it, little shades of gray. A little bit of tan, uh, I'm not, a little green in there if you if you look over here. So very neutral. Uh, I'm going to use it on a Gibson acoustic, uh, which is more of a sunburst, but it works great. Looks kind of fancy. I like the white ends on that. I like the brass hardware on it. Uh, kind of washed out in this lighting. And then this is one I just had to have. So it is a supposedly about 35 year old luggage vinyl. They call it the, the pattern vines. Uh, and it looks stitched when you look at it closely, but it, it is vinyl. Uh, <clears throat> the Mustang, by the way, is cloth. That is not 
vinyl, but it's got vinyl backing. But back of this, this is vinyl. And uh, I don't think you would really match this exactly with a green guitar. It's certainly not surf green, and there aren't very many guitars in this color. Uh, I just got this one, but my plan is to use it with this vintage Gretsch right here. So I'm just using it as a complimentary color, but I love the strap and I just think it works great with that. So, and it's a beautiful guitar anyway. So can't say enough good things about couch straps. If you're worried about them being long enough, you can forget uh, that I'm six foot three and I wear my guitar around my hip and it's got a long way to go. I could. For most guitars, I could literally put them down near my knees, not that I play that way. So uh, I've heard shorter players say that uh, sometimes they're so long that the, the adjusting buckle ends up on their shoulder. Uh, couch has an option to shorten the strap when you order it. So you might consider that if you're, you know, more around the five foot tall level, that'd probably be more appropriate for you. But uh, that's all, nothing else. Uh, I have other straps. I like other straps, but couch is definitely my favorite and probably the only strap I'll buy going forward. Bye.